Good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, this business meeting will now uh, come to order. Pursuant to notice on uh, March uh, 3rd, the committee is, is meeting to consider the nomination of Shalanda Young uh, to be Deputy Director of the Office of Management and Budget. I note the uh, presence of a quorum. I'd like to thank Ranking Member Portman for working with me to hold this markup today to advance Ms. Young's nomination to the Senate floor. I'm certainly pleased uh, to support uh, Ms. Young's nomination today. She's exceptionally well qualified in her budget experience, deep knowledge of government operations, and proven track record of working across the aisle will be a, an asset uh, to the OMB and our work on this committee. Now, I know I started right on time because I know there are a number of members that have to leave immediately from this hearing. Uh, so we'll first proceed to consideration of the nomination and then members who wish to make a comment, we will be here for comments to be made into the record. Uh, with that, uh, proceed to the vote. The committee will proceed to the consideration of Shalanda Young to be Deputy Director of the Office of Management and Budget. The question is on whether to favorably report Ms. Young's nomination to be Deputy Director of the Office of Management and Budget. The clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. Aye. Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Sinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Aye. Senator Portman. No. Senator Johnson. No. Senator Paul. No, I promise. Senator Lankford. No. Senator Romney. Senator Romney. No. Senator Scott. No. Senator Hawley. No. Senator Peters. Yes. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are seven, the nays are six. On the vote by proxy, and for the record only, the yeas are zero, the nays are one. On this vote, the yeas are seven, the nays are six, and the motion to report the nominee is agreed to. Nominee is uh, favorably reported uh, to, the, to the full Senate. Does any member uh, wish to be uh, recognized? Ranking Member Portman. Yeah. Thank you. So we have just forwarded uh, this nomination to the Senate floor. I understand that. Uh, I just wanted to say that I reluctantly voted against uh, Ms. Young's nomination today. I had planned to support Ms. Young based on her testimony before the committee. In reviewing her answers to the committee's questions for the record, though, I got to say I was really troubled by her responses, particularly her strong advocacy for eliminating the Hyde Amendment. Uh, this amendment, the Hyde Amendment, is a longstanding bipartisan agreement uh, between Republicans and Democrats. By the way, Joe Biden supported it his entire Senate career, a long and illustrious Senate career, and he supported the Hyde Amendment consistently. He changed his view during the Democratic primary. Um, I understand that, um, but I hope he changes his mind. But again, this is one where our country is so deeply divided on abortion, where we've been able to come together and decide, at a minimum, let's not tell people who have a deep uh, view uh, based on their conscience on this that they have to pay taxpayer funds for abortion. And... Uh, you know, frankly, the polling data shows, the most recent one is the Marist poll, I just saw 58 percent approval. The polls show a majority of the American people support the Hyde Amendment for good reason. So uh, we're divided enough already. Uh, we need to figure out how to work together. And uh, again, I'm disappointed with uh, the response. It wasn't just saying uh, that the Biden administration position is, uh, is against the Hyde Amendment now. It was, it was, it was a much stronger advocacy position against it, and uh, that concerns me. So. Mr. Chairman, I hope we'll be able to work together on future nominees, as we have on pretty much every nominee that's come through this committee. I've voted for all of them. Uh, but in this case, I'm reluctantly going to vote no. Would any other member be recognized? Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to echo Senator Portman and say that I, I was very impressed with Ms. Young and with her record. But uh, upon reviewing her answers uh, to my questions for the record, and in particular the Hyde Amendment, this is a position that the people of my state, the people of Missouri, strongly support. It's a common sense position that we, on, on an issue that is as divisive as abortion, we don't spend taxpayer dollars on abortions. Uh, that has been a, a bi as, as the senator says, it's been a bipartisan tradition for year upon year. And uh, I thought what was particularly disappointing about uh, the answers uh, that Ms. Young gave uh, was that, that they were indeed advocacy. It, this was not uh, 
Uh, this wasn't a position about a statement of law. It wasn't a deference uh, to the president. Uh, but it was a very strong advocacy against this position that, frankly, the people of my state support overwhelmingly. And uh, for those reasons, I simply uh, cannot support her nomination. Anyone else wish to be recognized? Let me just uh, say in closing, and in response to Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Senator Langford. Let me, let me just uh, let me just add this. This is one of those moments that uh, everything's been said, but not everyone said it. Uh, kind of moment. Uh, I, I was in the same position on this. I actually asked the question on the, on the question for the record about Hyde, and was surprised at the answer that came back. How strong it really was. This is not esoteric anymore. Whether Americans should be forced to pay for something they believe strongly is the taking of life, not the preserving of life has always been an issue that we've said there may be disagreement. Some people believe that a child is a child no matter how small they are, and some people believe a child is only a child after they're born. I disagree with that position, but we have as a nation for the last four decades said we're not going to fund it until this week. This week, what the House is voting on today, what the Senate passed on Saturday morning, will be the first time in 44 years we as a country have used federal tax dollars to pay for abortion for the first time in four decades. This is no longer a theoretical conversation. It just happened in the Senate, and it's happening today in the House. And what Mrs. Young was advocating was that it continues to happen time after time after time, after four decades of saying we're not going to compel Americans to pay for the taking of the life of children. So I hope this is an ongoing conversation. Uh, previous OMBs have worked aggressively to be able to identify areas where there were gaps in the law on this. OMB is not just a, a, a neutral arbitrator. They're an advisor in the process. And so it matters uh, what happens in this. Uh, so with that, I, I cannot support this nomination. Is there any other senator wishes to speak? Uh, in response to my colleagues, uh, I'd, I'd just like to uh, reiterate, uh, I, I heard uh, certainly your questions for the record, and, and I think during those questions, Ms. Young clearly committed to following exist, existing laws. And I know some of my colleagues strongly disagree uh, with Ms. Young and with President Biden on a number of policy matters. However, she, she is incredibly qualified for the position and has a proven track record of working effectively in a bipartisan way. Uh, I had many strong policy disagreements with the last administration. However, I supported several well-qualified nominees, including Derek Kahn as OMB Deputy Director, who committed to following the law and working in an open and transparent manner with Congress. Uh, in her written responses, Ms. Young stated that ending the Hyde Amendment is a matter of economic and racial justice because its impact is felt uh, most among low-income women of color. Uh, this is simply a statement of fact. But she also confirmed that she will follow current law, which includes the Hyde Amendment. So I have a hard time following the objections of my Republican colleagues who have otherwise sung Ms. Young's praises as a qualified nominee. With that, uh, this markup uh, is adjourned.